That's why he's called Proof of Islam. No one else might have that title. He says that I did not write anything concerning theology until I had memorized 12,000 pages of the great theologians of it. It was in writings like the revival of religious sciences and the alchemy of happiness that he indicated the inner meanings of the Islamic rites and the methods that led to his realization. What Imam al-Ghazali is, is pointing out here is the idea of the finite and the infinite, the idea of what ultimately comes uh, to naught, what, what is perishing and, and what goes on forever. And so this is the idea of learning those things that one needs for this infinite journey. مثل این که هرچه باشه از حال شما بهتره وقت سسیده توازای محبتی داره که خوب میدانی هرچی از دست من بر بیاد دریق نخواهم کرد پس هرام با خودت ببر From an early age, I constantly thirsted after a grasp of things as they really are. For me, this was something instinctive, a part of my God-given nature, a matter of temperament, and not of my choice or contriving. Yo, Tarachi! Kauti! Kuti! Malakuti! Samani! Saman Gargari! Saman Gorgor! Certain knowledge must be infallible. This infallibility of a proposition means that no attempt to demonstrate its falsity can create doubt or denial. Now, if someone asserts that three is more than ten, and that to prove it he can turn stones into gold or a stick into a snake, should I believe it? آن کس که کلمه لا اله الا الله و عیسا رسول الله را از نصرانی می شنود و آن را چون گوینده یا نصرانی است پاور نمی دارد و رد می کند کوتح نظر است اما خطر رد خطری است بسیار بزرگ که از ناحیه کم خیردان برمی خیزد اینا چونه می بندارد که چون کلمات حق در کتب فلاسفه نوشته شده و با کلام آنان در آمیخته شایسته رب و سزاوار کرده است سخنان ایشان را هرچه و از هر که بشنوند چون سابقه معرفت حق در ایشان نیست رد می کنند و با این پندار همه آن سخنان را به خرد نارسای خیش خطا و باطل می انگارند At the time of Imam al-Ghazali, authority was being questioned. Who has ultimate authority? The religious people did not recognize the secular authority, the, and these religious fanatics begin to kill those who they deem as obstacles in their path uh, to achieving some type of religious sovereignty. Abu Hamid Muhammad, man. تفکر باز قدرت بیان و استدلال محکم شما را تحسین میکنم سپاس گذارم غربان علاق مندم اندیشه های شما در فضای بازتری منتشر شود For six months I was constantly tossed 
between my worldly desires and my longing for eternal life. In the end, the matter stopped being one of choice and became one of compulsion. God caused my tongue to dry up so that I was incapable of lecturing. Each day I'd try hard to teach so as to please my students, but my tongue wouldn't utter a single word. 